surgical. We show this if we had that. But they don't do anything twice. So it seems like, oh boy, they're taking their time, and then somehow everything is done. Slow and steady. Yeah. One of my dreams is for every spine doctor to go on a trip like this once. And I figure a percentage will catch the bug and want to come again. That's what happened to me and everybody who's come back more than one time. You realize that this is the most important thing. Okay, you ready for your big day? I'm very excited. The most exciting day in your whole career, I, I promised you? I, I believe it. <laughs> okay, so how about you? Obviously. Ready? Yeah. Okay. What do you think? Yeah. Yeah. Excited. All right. Can't wait to get Sir, started. As always. you're a pro. <laughs> <laughs> the, the first clinic that I came to probably three or four years ago on my first trip, um, from the first minute you're in the clinic, you see these, uh, these children come in, ones that have been followed, some for, for eight to 10 years. Um, they wear their Sunday best. Uh, they wait all day long. They may have traveled three or four days to get here. And they're, they're, they're literally excited to see the doctors, and it was an amazing experience. Love is, is the complex uh, spine problems that we see here in, in Colombia um, and how we can impact their lives. And we now know there are some cases that were just abandoned and they were just, you know, uh, this is, you, you just have to uh, learn to live with this problem. And now we know that we can help them. And we see these kids that have uh, come from different parts of Colombia already. Uh, neglected by other physicians that said there's not surgical possibility to do anything and we have fixed them uh, at least I think I've helped and then see them year after year grow up with the spine fixed maybe not 100% but enough for them to play and to live a normal life My little girl was born on December 25th of 2001. It was my best Christmas present ever. As time went by, I started to see that my little girl started deteriorating her spine. The first doctors that saw my daughter, they started telling her that she will never walk, that she will always have to wear diapers, but she proved them wrong. Thanks to God, uh, the doors opened to myself and I was able to reach out to the, uh, to the foundation Casa Colombia. There the doctors saw what she had, they evaluated her and they gave her the date for the surgery in November of 2004. Ana Maria was a real challenge because she is a very normal girl with congenital scoliosis, namely all the bones are, are triangles instead of rectangles. And we found a piece of bone going right through her spinal cord. We had to remove, we removed that 10 years ago. From that day on, the life of my little girl started to change. Her quality of life started to evolve and be better and better each day. Year after year, I did, I think, all of her surgeries, 12, and then she becomes a Taekwondo champion. This is my favorite part of my job, but this has given me the opportunity to really fulfill 
something deep inside me that I want to be able to give back. And uh, so I really am thankful for that. I think ultimately everyone has an innate something inside that they want to give back. And um, I think a lot of times it's piled up really, really, it's really deep because we have blinders on and we, ha we worry about us. But I think you're able to, everyone has it in there somewhere. And ultimately the human race wants to give back to each other. A lo mejor ya algunos me conocen. Eh, yo quiero comentarles que esto es un proyecto que quizá esto es el inicio. Pues vamos a, a, a decirles, a mandarles un aviso a, a Tony, a Tony Rinella y a, y a Global Span Office que, pues que estamos aquí listos, ¿no? que ojalá y que se pueda llevar a cabo todo este proyecto que, es, que va a ser muy beneficioso para todos los niños que tienen programas de su ¿Están listos? Listo, listo, listo. Listo, muy bien, perfecto. What we do uh, is a very precious thing, and, and that is really we're preserving life. And uh, these kids without treatment uh, almost certainly would succumb to their illness at some point far sooner than they would with if they had treatment. And that's really what we're trying to do. We're trying to prolong not only their chronologic life, but also the quality of life that they get to spend here on Earth. Ask if she's ready to grow. Does he suck at his head? Where C1 moves in front of C2 and then arrows the space for the nerves in the back. That may be why she can't walk.
I would like to thank Tobiana and Mintronic for supporting the Columbia Outreach Mission for the past 15 years. This is our 26th consecutive mission. Over that time, we've evaluated over 1,000 children and performed 300 surgeries. None of this would be possible without your help. Uh, we have very special children, such as uh, Stefania, who can now walk, and she's working to be a fashion designer uh, because of all the help you provided. Now we've expanded into uh, Chihuahua, Mexico. We did the first scoliosis surgery ever in that state. We're expanding into Mexico City, and we're starting to talk to different groups in Peru and Brazil and Guatemala, all through Central and South America, where we can spread this mission that we know works so well. Thank you very much, Medtronic. This would be impossible without you.